Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Biome Exile SMP. We haven't played this all year so far, which is something I can say for a little while because it's only the beginning of January. But in all honesty, yes, it's been a while since uh, I have been on. The server changed IPs during that time, so for a long time I thought the server was just down. I think Milan also did. I think he mentioned something about that. Um, but no, there, there is a new IP, so back and doing what we need to do here, which I'm glad about because... The one of the things I've wanted to do is not been achievable because I needed to AFK quite a bit and I never really had the time to just dedicate to leaving a client open, which sounds stupid, but you know, my I'm using the computer quite a lot and a lot of its resources, so I really couldn't let myself have that extra, you know, X amount of RAM and processor usage and stuff being used, so I haven't done it for a while, but I have finally got everything I need for a project I wanted to do ages ago and have been mean to uh, get pretty much since the beginning of the server. Because we made a sort of a, uh, a simple version of something and then I decided, hey, that's not doing what I need it to do. Let's actually do this. But I've always needed this thing for it to be achievable because, you know, I need slime balls and slime blocks and sticky pistons and etc. And this is our way of getting that because, you know, it's still working, luckily, and uh, we're getting, you know, some of this. Again, I uh, haven't been AFKing too much and also... I've taken what was in here and put it in this chest in the center because this has 480 slime blocks, or it should do hopefully. So that's seven stacks and a half, and then uh, almost another stack of slime uh, blocks worth of slime balls ready there as well, which actually we should have considering the, the chests over there. So I do need to AFK over there quite a bit at some point uh, just to make up for all the slime blocks we are using today but uh yeah i needed 480 because uh 480 is almost like the magic number for this there's a lot of materials where i have 480 of them because um they all work in tandem with each other so uh if we head over back to here we will be able to see these three chests which i kind of teased a while back and said hey guess what's in them and nobody was able to guess what's in them so uh or guess what it was being used to make was actually i think the question what it is is a bunch of uh, oak leaves spruce logs because i can't get dark oak and uh david hasn't been on as far as i'm aware for a very long time and as far as i'm aware the spawn shop does not have <laughs> that many and i think uh there's even yeah some more in here but basically we are making a sugarcane farm which is going to be so 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 much better than this dainty little thing over here i mean this has been running in the background for ages and has all this but that isn't just from that it's from this, uh, I don't know if I've ever shown this before, I probably have, but uh, yeah, this massive, you know, lake of sugarcane pretty much that I just thought, hey, this is here, it will probably look good with a bunch of sugarcane, plus it will be really useful to me. I changed all these out to, uh, to regular grass blocks and then put sugarcane on them and every so often do collect, uh, but as you can see, sort of up to here is only where it's grown properly the rest haven't really grown too much and the reason for that is because if i'm ever like afking over one of these machines and i'm right like right next to it this much is only loaded in i think um which i think explains why that's happening um also working over on other things over here just means that you know a lot of that isn't loaded uh, as much as the other stuff. So, yeah, that is there, though, and that is what I've been using to get all my sugarcane. Now we need to actually start building this thing, and you may be wondering where I'm going to be building it. Well, I couldn't think of a good place to build it other than next to another farm. So we have the cactus farm over here, which we literally built for one reason, and then promptly forgot about it. Is this dark oak, or is that... No, it is spruce. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is our cactus farm, which, you know, kind of uh, was a one-trick pony sort of thing where we used it once for the glass for the slime farm and then never have had a reason to do that ever again. So I guess, you know, if Milan ever needs cactus to sell, here you are. Uh, so, yeah, I, I wanted to place it where the old one was. But if I do that, it's going to 
be a lot wider than this is. Uh, so I'll be taking over this thing, this thing, this thing, and also the portal and the chicken farm will also be kind of obscured by it and it won't be pretty good for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one down. I think that will also be good because it allows us to have a kind of a better pathway down to this area, which we're going to probably build some stuff over here in the future um, if I can think of something that would fit in there. And we're going to move it over to the cactus farm because if I build it like... If I have that mushroom in between, then I can have, you know, a bit of a gap still, and then it can start like here, and then go all the way over to, I think it's roughly about here-ish or something. Doesn't obscure anything, we can have this pathway, um, sort of a, a pathway sort of thing, if we were able to build one. We can uh, clear out this a little bit, so it then goes flat over here, and also possibly could then make a way down to here, so this can uh, also connect. Because I, I do want to eventually, I'm happy I mean to do this for a while, but again, I haven't been playing in a very long while. I do try, I, I am trying to change that this year. Um, but I want to get some pathways so we can have sort of connected stuff. Because a while back we tried to make maps. The reason they're not up is because they were lagging out the uh, area for some reason. But I do want to try and redo that and make some better maps of the area. But nonetheless, I'm going to go get all the resources, bring them over here. And then uh, I'm going to get the replay mod uh if it still works, should do. I can't think of a reason for it not to. I'm going to get a replay mod and we are going to build this thing and get it working. So it might be a shorter episode, but we're going to get a whole lot of stuff done and we should have a nice time lapse as well in the middle of it. So I'm going to go bring that stuff over, check the replay mod, and I'll see you in a little while. Okay then, so I might be wrong, but I do want to just check. Uh, we should now be finished. For some reason, I ended up with some extra leaves and some spruce wood, though I think that's mainly uh, me just miscalculating or possibly having changed it in tiny little ways. I, I actually think it might be from... I, I originally had more chests here, which is why I have some hoppers and uh, some chests available here, and some dark oak stairs still, which I'll get onto in a second. But uh, yeah, we, we're gonna need some more of these very soon because I haven't had it on during this entire time, so these have all been growing in the lower levels. So all we have to do is take the stack and six of this that we have, and we're gonna throw it into these hoppers, and this should push everything down and uh, get everything you know, doing what it needs to be doing. Uh, yep, so this side works, and then later, after that, we'll we'll wait for those to quickly go. Then the other side will go after 64 plus 6 items, so 70 items. I'm not sure how many uh, seconds that is, maybe it is 70 seconds, but that just gives a chance for this to grow while this is getting pushed off, and then that gets pushed off and that grows, and here we are, a bunch of sugarcane coming down, and... 
once it's all <laughs> finally fallen into the hoppers. Think we're done? I think we're done. That is, you know, how many we, uh, it depends how many, yeah, we've got coming through. We've still got some coming through, but we'll see. We've already got over two stacks of sugar cane. And obviously that is whilst it has been growing the entire time. But this is 20 layers tall. Took us a very long while to do. And see, this one's now started. Um, so <laughs> it's not even filtering in fast enough for it to, to, for us to check. But I assume we're over four stacks now. There are 24 here per layer. Uh, there's 12 here, 12 here. Now, assuming we have 20 layers, that's what, 480 um, sugarcane. So that's, you know, 480, which, yeah, is the number of sugarcane I brought, the glass, I, not glass, uh, sand I brought, and uh, there was another item, uh, slime blocks, that was it. 480 per full thing, which is seven and a half stacks. So yeah, I think that's going to do us good. I mean, we're already just from that. I think we're a third of the way to what we have uh, from this entire thing currently in here. We've only got nearly uh, one one regular chest full and uh, we're already you know, quite far into this. Now, this isn't 100% completed. And the reason I say that is uh, first off, as I said, we're probably going to need more chest room, similar to this, which I'm probably also going to add some more chest room to because, uh, as you can see, we're filled to the brim with cacti. Uh, but as you can see on the back, it's looking particularly ugly, and the reason for that is because in the original, uh, like in the original design I did, it was dark oak um, logs and dark oak stairs. And I had the stairs, you know, there and on the bottom layer. So I'd have them, you know, facing in that way and out that way. Problem is, I don't have dark oak, or at least a healthy supply of it, that I'm willing to use right now. So that's kind of not happening right now. But I'll do it at some point. Maybe, um, maybe I can try and get a sampling, possibly. <laughs> that's my main hope. If not, um, I just need to hope that David comes on. At some point, because we are here, uh, we're getting a little bit of lag, but coming over here, that's not what I'm after, the woods over in this area. We need... Dark Oak is here. How much money do I have? 9,661. Oh. Shop is out of stock. I think I'm the reason for that, and it's been quite a while. So, um, yeah, unfortunate, but... If I can get a sapling, or more likely four saplings, that would be really nice. And maybe, maybe then we can work on some good stuff. Um, for now, though, I'll continue using spruce. But I'm not too huge a fan of spruce lo uh, spruce stairs. But nonetheless, um, this is now doing its job. It looks quite nice. I do like spruce. I like the darker logs rather than uh, these. Um, though I still like this thing. I, I don't think I'd ever change that to uh, to spruce or dark oak. I don't feel like it fits. But yeah, it, it's doing its job, it's doing well, you know, what's that, you know, six and a half stacks, pretty much, that's pretty good, so, not a full 480, and the reason I say that most likely is because of, um, I'm assuming it's because the top layers obviously weren't fully grown yet, the others had a chance to grow, so probably the couple top layers were were not fully grown, but I'm also going to have a quick look and see if I can find where these two leaves and spruce logs and stuff are, uh, but nothing looks like it's broken for the moment, so I think we'll all be good. I will keep the ladders there though for a little while, just so I don't have that issue, but yeah, looking good, doing a job, and uh, hopefully the time lapse came out quite well, um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. So yeah, it's a, it's... I was about to say it's a small thing. It's definitely not a small thing. I think it's actually the same height as this. So uh, 20 layers makes sense, uh, even though it started lower. Either way. Um, so yeah, it, it's not a small thing in terms of size, but it's a small thing in terms of getting some stuff done. Also, I want to check this whilst I'm here, whilst I'm recording, because I swear I saw this. Up here, there's two blocks of glowstone that are missing. It's weird, I'm gonna have to go sort that out. 
that, that, that shouldn't have been a thing. And also I need to use pumpkins. Which does again bring me onto the point actually. Let's quickly check up that. No, that's fine. Uh, brings me to the point of, you may think, why do I need such a big sugarcane farm? Uh, why can't I deal with this? And the manual one over there. I'm going to keep the manual one. I think it looks nice nonetheless. But uh, the reason I need this is because I want to get more librarians. And the best way to get librarian trading, at least, is via the use of this and worst case scenario I can go and get some feathers and some ink sacks and uh, then we can you know get some book and quills and do some trades there because uh, that's the worst case scenario if I get locked out because I need a bunch of these guys I need some unbreaking books some fortune books and some of that's a farmer that doesn't matter um, and ever since I lost my like perfect farmer uh, with the eight pumpkin trade because I was stupid and accidentally killed him uh, yeah that wasn't clever of me. Then uh, I'm until I've got that, and I can use up all my pumpkins and put them back in here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to to deal with the amount of pumpkins we have, and yeah, continue breeding them. Though I think my breeder might be broken. I have a feeling it might be, just because they always get stuck in the glass. I'm not sure if that's just the server issue. But they always get stuck right here, and I have to kill them off, and it's really annoying, especially because this guy is most likely a farmer. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for now. I have a lot of uh, these guys to get through and kill, and um, rails to, to move off over here. But, um, nonetheless, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, now I need to think of the next big project, which... Uh, I need to get on to. I have a smaller project I want to do, but it's, uh, I need to hold off on the next big one, which I have to think of what that's going to be. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I am going to try and get back into some more Biomexile stuff, um, because I've missed it. So, hopefully you guys have as well, and we can get back into it as well. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.